What if the upcoming Mac Pro didn't use an M1 or M2 chip? Let's talk about it. Apple's senior vice president of hardware engineering, John, had a few interesting lines during the peak performance event. We're adding one last chip to the M1 family, and it's going to blow your mind. And? With just one more product to go, Mac Pro. But that is for another day. Could this mean the upcoming Mac Pro will feature an M1 Ultra? But that doesn't line up with the rumored 40 core CPU and 128 core GPU unless you double the M1 Ultra. Could this be an M1 Extreme? And there is something that doesn't make sense in terms of the specs of the current Mac Pro. Because that machine supports up to one and a half terabytes of RAM and it's modular. And I don't think Apple would compromise that for the Pros, especially when they already have the modularity of the Mac Pro. And if we double the M1 Ultra, we might also hit the limit of 256 gigabytes of RAM. That's six times less RAM than the current Mac Pro. And as far as we know, the Apple Silicon chip doesn't support the modularity as the current Mac Pro does. So what if Apple makes a custom chip for the Mac Pro? That means Apple could put in the R&D to make the chip ex support expandability and modularity that pros demand. Just look at the Ultra Fusion tech Apple used in the M1 Ultra. I'm sure they could do something along those lines to make expandability a reality. And hopefully they could support PCIe cards so we can add all those obscure and niche cards that professionals use. That support doesn't exist at the moment and Apple has to find a way how to support it if they want to sell the updated Mac Pro. So why not use an M2 chip instead? Well, if they announce the M2 Extreme first, the M2, M2 Pro and M2 Max will look good weak in, in terms of performance compared to M2 Extreme, unless we get an Mac and M2 specific event in April or May. So when can we expect to see this new Mac Pro be announced? Based on a teaser during the peak performance event, I think there's a chance we could get the same type of announcement as a current Mac Pro got during Dub Dub, and maybe alongside a new 7K display that's also rumored. But only time can tell, so let me know what you think down in the comments. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tech content.